Hey guys, crew blowing way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Rick. Eric. And we're here with a movie that we've picked. Um, I actually saw this recently, and I was like, I think this would be a fun reaction. This one is Hidden Figures. Yeah. Which I don't believe any of you guys have seen. Nope. I've been saving it. Do you guys have much knowledge of what this is? Yeah. I do. Just I know the title. A little, a little bit. Okay. Zero. Zero. Okay. I know a bit about the history. All right. I know that this was at least up for like a best documentary type of award. Um, it's, so it's based on true fantasy. events. Got it. It's based on true yeah, events, but it's also one of those things where it's probably like, remember the Titans? Could still right? be a horror. Where it's based on true happens. events, but they probably add a little bit here and there. Spinal Tap. There's a couple things I know that that's not. Bad. That's an awesome documentary, it could still be, uh, it could Aaron. Be a romance still. Maybe. So anyway, some really good stuff that I'm excited to talk about. But uh, if you want to see more, this highlight we can only put so much on. There is a full length mm -hmm. reaction available. You can find it down in the description Figures. or pin comment over Patreon.com/slash/BlindWave. We have this for. All our movies that we cover and everything else that we really do. Um, and also polls every other week to help us decide what movie to watch. Indeed. So help us decide that. There's probably a poll, maybe right now. Just all check. Neil Breen movies. Let's not do that. Let's just watch this. West Virginia, 1926. I like all these old kids being like, holy oh, shit. I love that expression. I'm like, she yeah. hasn't done anything I can't do yet. And I'm sure she will very shortly. Once you've done that, it's pretty straightforward from there. Hopefully, she hasn't had to deal with Mrs. Crutchball. Is that Matilda? Oh, that was her name. I haven't seen the new one yet. The kids are doing a play here for Matilda, I think. Are they? Are you at the high school or at the, one of the play places? Yeah. How are they going to do the telekinesis? Strings, Rick! Uh, I've never seen Matilda. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Whoops. All the way. 1961. Oh, he's going to... The jack is going to fall and she's going to pick it up. Okay, Jack, <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Quite a few women working in the space program. I don't think there's any into that sentence. It sounds good. No. <laughs> what is he doing? Look at that space. The Russians. What, y'all need a tub or something? No, thank you. I think I got it pretty much. But the starter. Bypass the starter. You need to bypass it. Okay. All right, Cal. Can you bypass the starter? Screwdriver. I mean, chow! Look at that, Rick Dab, all right! Three Negro women are kissing a white police officer down the highway in Hampton, Virginia, 1961. Ladies, that there is a God ordained miracle. Look how close they are. I know! Show me. Huh? Exactly. Yes. Do you see his butt? Eric, not I gotta know if it's him. It can't happen right away. I gotta know if it's him. The Russians. How Played. can you tell? It looks so evil with its dark metal. <laughs> <laughs> I played Kerbal Space Program. This is not easy. <laughs> it isn't. It really is not. <laughs> Sheldon Cooper. He's smart. Jim Parsons. You know what's dangerous, Mr. Stafford? Inaction and indecision. Russia. They should just use balloons. The president is demanding it. They seem to work great. Because now that they can get up there, a bomb will follow. That's what happens to all our good ideas. Yeah. It turns into weapons, right? Mm -hmm. Any day now, Mr. Harrison. Any day now. Yes. Oh, they're waiting for a computer? Initials? That's a really IBM. 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 <laughs> I'm doing the work of a supervisor. Well, that's NASA for you. Fast with rocket ships, slow with advancement. Get those trajectory caps worked out. We need it for the redstone test. It's kind of the, uh... Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. She Sorry about your work, trouble. Doesn't get the pay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you a, should you should get out of there. There's a lady in here. Leave the shoe. Oh, 
It's gonna be 700 miles of air moving by. <laughs> Get the hell out! <laughs> Came right at his face. And again. We are living the impossible. Let me ask you. If you were a white man, would you wish to be an engineer? I wouldn't have to. I'd already be here. What a great answer. <laughs> they never had a color in here before, Catherine. Don't embarrass me. can't imagine just the little things adding up to your day, just being like... Constantly you know, just you crushing know? you down. Ugh. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and it's like one of those things where it's like you gotta bite your tongue or you're the bad guy kind of thing. Yeah. You Where's know? all the smoke? Sorry, Look, the... First thing happened. Take this trash out. Not enough smoke. Not enough smoke. Nope. You should be smoking more? Not yep. for the 60s. That room should be... <laughs> you a, wouldn't be able to see. ...a gradient from the top to bottom of You can gray. see the science happening in their minds. <laughs> <laughs> the smoke goes up. Half of it's from their ears. Mr. Harrison won't warm up to you, don't expect it. Do your work, keep your head down. Thank you. I won't get settled. I have an idea of who Mr. Harrison is, but I have to see his butt. Sure. Wait, you want to see everyone's butt? That's what no, we do. I see one. Of, I want, I to, see want one. to see his. Yeah. I want their butts. There's one butt <laughs> that is more recognizable than all the others. Just to be clear, in 14 days, the Mercury Seven will be here for training, and I have no doubt in my mind that they're going to be asking us questions about our work. I think that's pretty reasonable, given we're putting a human on top of a missile shooting into space, and it's never been done before. <laughs> America's greatest engineering and scientific minds are not going to have a problem with having their work checked, are they, Paul? No, sir. Good. So let's have an amen, damn it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> he turns around. <laughs> I didn't hear you. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love movies about this, this, this subject. Yeah. 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 yeah, I love it. I didn't even think about that until they said it. Bathrooms? Yeah. Oh. So many things are segregated. I know. From water fountains to bathrooms to Yeah. Whatever, I mean, you know? I'm glad that I can not think about it, but... And she's going to come back here. This is back where she started. Yeah. She knows that there's a restroom here she can use, you know? <laughs> we'll take breaks now? His office is on a stage in there. I know, right? It's like yeah. up here, Such glass windows, he can look through and see everything. I need those done first. He wants those done first. Get going. She's yeah. gonna have one paper, and then he gave her another stuff, and now even more stuff. I'm asking you to do what I'm asking everyone in that room. All my geniuses is to look beyond the numbers. Look around. Hidden figures. Yes. <laughs> the questions we don't even know to ask. Math doesn't yet exist. Because without it, we're not going anywhere. Maybe we're staying on the ground. We're not flying in space. We're not circling Earth. We're certainly not touching. It's like Newton. He had to invent certain versions of math to explain gravity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. They're pretending to be. Pretending Poorly. Well <laughs> not pretending well enough. You guys ever had to share a, a bed with a sibling? Had a bunk bed. Oh, with a sibling? No. I don't think I ever did. Yeah, I'd rather share a bed. With a stranger, a yeah. Have any sex. So I'll solve the dishes, take out the trash, and do all of Joyless chores. Oh, that's okay. 
I don't want the bed anymore. <laughs> Should. It's, just, it's a crime. You will. Yeah. When Blake comes out, he's gonna be the new Blade. He's oh Blade. yeah. Okay. No, I saw the trailer. Uh, Fuck no. you. Blade trailer? Did I see the Blade trailer? I haven't seen the Blade, Blade trailer. There's no Blade trailer. Right. Oh, I saw you, a casting thing or something. You crazy man. I was so confused. Man, I don't remember Blade trailer. I forget shit all the time. But I can't remember that. <laughs> you better settle down, Levi Jackson. Unless you want this female's mind right here in front of everybody. <laughs> you don't want that smoke. <laughs> I don't want to see you get hurt. NASA's never ever given you guys your due. Having a couple of extra degrees ain't gonna change that. Civil rights ain't always civil. It's a great line. Mm hmm. I don't want anything. No lip movements. Your brother gets them and something. You gotta eat them still. Day and night. <laughs> it's Sunday. It's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I will not. I'm not smiling back. You are all teeth right now. Mm-hmm. You already have a slice of she looks so different from person of interest. Uh-huh. So good. Mm-hmm. You let women handle that sort of... That's not what I mean. There are 20 ranked highly capable Negro women in the West community. He's never gonna forget that. <laughs> she just all lead off his ignorance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? That's John Glenn. Ah, he's from Top Gun. He is. Hangman. Is he in volleyball shape? I'm sure he's not. It's impossible. He was that for an hour <laughs> when he filmed that movie. Ladies, you want to run off of that same hello? Be in a big rush around here. Hell yeah, buddy. The Russians certainly are slowing down. You know, they can't go with the refrigerator. How the heck they be in the space? What do you make of this? I'm a second shot, sir. Guys. I like John. Don't right. Don't flip John on me, movie. He's from Ohio. He was the only one that came over and mm -hmm. talked to these women over here, you know? Everyone else stayed over there. They even tried to stop him from coming over. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Instant coffee. Whoops. <laughs> Just pour that into the big one and <laughs> drink oh, out of the big what one. What happened? The chock full of nuts coffee apparently is tied to Jackie Robinson as well. Yeah. He's either... He was somewhere high in it. I forgot what I was reading about it, but he was involved with it after his baseball days or something like that. <clears throat> I both miss and don't miss chalkboards. Oh, they always give me goosebumps. Yeah, they give me goosebumps, but like there's something satisfying about like that first one, a clear, clean one, you know? Yeah. I love the big lecture rooms where like you have them and you can like push them up. Yeah. <laughs> Machine's here. How you gonna get in? It's too big. <laughs> Cut it out. Yep. <laughs> He's the big hammer. He's the big hammer. It's a load bearing wall, Jerry. I love There's it. There's windows in that wall. I love it. I love it. <laughs> He's like, we got these computers, but we can't get them in the room now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Love 
that chalk fall on him. I don't know why. I love it. <laughs> That's good stuff. Is it glass? Yes, sir. Probably not. <laughs> How do you know about the Atlas rocket? That dad is not here like you said. It's classified. I held it up to the light. You held it up to the light? Yes, sir. Well, there it is. <laughs> sure as <is> shit. <laughs> Are you a spy, Catherine? Am I what? I said, Are you a Russian spy? No, sir. I'm not a Russian. <laughs> She's not a Russian spy. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on. <laughs> I, I just don't think it's a good idea. You know what I think is a good idea? Darker ink. <laughs> Darker ink's a good idea. Luke, could you pass it along? Yes, sir. Darker ink, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not just her that's going to be looking at these yeah. uh, redacted files. Yeah, spies. Real spies. Way to go, Paul. Every time we have a chance to get ahead, they move the finish line. I just follow the rules around here, and I expect... Yeah, I'm not the bad guy. Follow them as well. There are no special circumstances for anyone. We all should be thankful we have jobs at all. Oh, fuck you. I've been complaining for days, lady. One more peep about work. Moonshine. <laughs> Moonshine. Yeah. Deal me in. <laughs> Child, I needed this. Thank you. <laughs> Don't give me any more again. I can't drink Oh gosh, the jar is empty. <laughs> Fortran. <laughs> it's an old programming language. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So she's going to learn to run the machine. New here, Rick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's over 60 years old then. You uh, could pay a lot of money if you knew Fortran. Not many people do anymore. Now or? Now, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Just build a new machine. <laughs> well, look at that. What? What a surprise. Mm. That nice man brought you some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Just making them sweat. Yeah. <laughs> Have an interest in getting to know you better. <laughs> you want some customer? Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kat. For what, Jim? Underestimate me. And any other woman like you. No, I don't imagine there's many. Good practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that last line was good. The Soviet news agency has announced that Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin has become the first man in space. Gagarin completed one full orbit around the planet in 108 minutes. Take them to the station for more details as they become available. The Russians did it. It's funny how the Russians never broadcasted all their mistakes. <laughs> nope. <laughs> what mistakes? <laughs> Look at that thing. Mm -hmm. Those kids are going to see less now. <clears throat> Nobody left, though. They do such a good job of either using real footage. Or making it or look like it's old footage, like you know? Yeah. yeah, like some things they do, I'm like, man, is that... What the heck would they do with that one? I mean, if they pick the moon landing, they can... Right? <laughs> hey, we're looking good. 
<laughs> his scrunched expression on his face is hilarious. It's like Captain America trying to fix the Avengers jet. <laughs> it seems to run on some form of electricity. Yeah, it's crazy seeing those new. Yeah, right. Yeah. Sir, my feet does. I like their laughs. I'm taking a walk. To serve our country. Call them computer bugs because there were literal bugs in them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this the high school? She can't go to the high school. Mrs. Jackson, call and seek her at the back of the courtroom. Thank you. Uh, She's petitioning. She has to petition the court. Yeah. Holy Moses, that's lightning fast. So now we get back to work. Oh, it'll run eventually. When it does, we have no program. Unless you found the job. No. Nope. It's, it's, like, it's great. We need people to program it. We might as well do that. People got to make sure it works, right? Make yep. sure it's right. I got a court date. Well, yeah, I mean, you still have to write the programs for it to do the math. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I guess not. People are starting somewhere with it, right? <laughs> so. You, you, you got to punch those holes. Stick in those cards. That's the wrong spot. That guy was like, I think it's good. <laughs> Where is she? Bathroom break. Oh, uh, the papers. So well, now he's going to know she left the building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sound. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Wow. Civil rights don't need to be civil. <laughs> Just hang on. Right? <laughs> Berlin Wall came down easier. with me so nobody can put it up somewhere else. Here at NASA, we all be the same color. Hopefully. Except after I drink grape soda. Let's say grapes. No, don't touch hands. It's a different time. <laughs> Remembered. Can't be forgotten. I don't know history enough. What? Really? Yeah. <laughs>
That's it? <laughs> I've kissed a man in a long time. Your Honor, out of all the cases you're gonna hear today, which one is gonna matter a hundred years from now? Which one is gonna make you the first? <laughs> Wait, does he go? <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> so much energy. Uh. Rick. Yay. Here's your cards. <laughs> <laughs> they remind me of Scantrons in a way, too. They're kind of similar. Hey, what the hell are you doing? You can't be in here. Who are you? I'm with the West Computing Group. Dorothy Bond. Well, this is a very delicate piece of equipment. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just trying to be helpful. Thank God I was yeah. born 30 years later. You've got numbers. Does that have to do with these? <laughs> I love this stuff's working. We did it. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> you just have to act like a boss. <laughs> rubble, 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 rubble. <laughs> this is Catherine Goble with our trajectory and launch window division. Her work is pertinent to today's proceedings. Catherine. Have a go at it. Oh, well, you know when she's starting all the way up there, she's got a lot of right in the room, right? He has such a great yeah. holy shit face. Yeah. That's her. <laughs> I like her numbers. Thank you. Catherine. Quickly the room with me. <laughs> <laughs> Leave on a high note. Oh, yeah. You're the IBM man, right? Yes, sir. Well, we'll pull my little scribe you have, Pitch. Let's go to Heather's thing. I'm not paying you. I love the way he just walks around and makes shit happen. Yeah. It's always he's just eating gum. I'm not paying any of you. <laughs> Good thing. They each weigh like 40 pounds. Yeah, <laughs> huge. Man, such a big room for a computer. Everyone out! It's crazy. And that's smaller than they used to be. Mm -hmm. You know what your job is, Paul? Find a genius among those geniuses. Pull us all up. We all get to the peak together, or we, or 
don't get there at all. You didn't really hear what I said, did you, did you Paul? Did you, did you listen to the lesson there? All right, gentlemen. Tonight we discuss Planck-Einstein. Wavelength relationship. Yes. Court order. Yes, I'm in a row. Well, the curriculum is not designed to teach you woman. Well, I imagine it's designed to teach you the man. <laughs> I don't see a color section. Should I just take any seat? Right in the front row. Okay. Uh, Mike Einstein. It could be old, man. Something that looks at the problem numerically and not theoretically. Math is always dependent. Yes. Everybody's jealous. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I love it. I hate Chuck. Mm hmm. His squeaks didn't bother me as much as just a noise. Though I hate nails. Snipe <laughs> it up. Put your name on it. Yeah. Paul! They got there. Oh, I'll fuck these names first. And Euler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make a new sheet. My father taught me a thing or two about mechanics. You know, I have yeah, a she could just in this group that have the car. Learn more about it. Here's the future. I think I can buy it. It's all safe. Mm -hmm. It's not my decision now. But you have nothing for us either. What your response? Right. Like this is just the way it is. It's not my fault. Sure. It's kind of like what Paul keeps saying, right? Yeah. Just the way it is. Women can't go in there. Just the way it is. Redacted, classified, just the way it is. There's no precedent. Are you sad, Mama? No. It's okay, Mama. You're like me. No. <laughs> I know. Don't let them see you. You haven't even asked me yet. I'm not what he is. You are. Y'all let me. Y'all let me. You are. She's already crying. Shame on this ring. Shame on Father's name. We're 52 years. Think about as lucky as a ring as you can get. The day I met you, I called my mother. I said, Mom, I met the woman I want to marry. What'd she say? She said she must be something, Jimmy, really something. And what'd you say? I said, No. She wanted something. She's everything. Yeah. I plan on this being more romantic. I'll make that up to you real soon. But, uh, I'm going to marry you. I'm going to be paying your girls as well. Are you nails your head? I do. I'm asking you. <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. These charisma levels are off the chart. I know. Over 20,000. Let's have you report back to the West Coast. Just random. Well, the IBM's wrong yesterday. Right? Damn thing's wrong today. Is it wrong yesterday or wrong today? Hey, computer! Paul, am I right? It appears so. You're gonna call. Let's get the girl to check the numbers. The girl? Yes, sir. You Catherine? Yes, sir. Smart one. <laughs> get the smart girl. I don't want to die. <laughs> All right, we'll get into it. Uh, 
I believe that's accurate. I believe that's what really happened. I love the way he described her. The girl. The, the smart girl. one, yeah. John, in this moment, John Glenn specified that he wanted Catherine. However, it wasn't the day of lunch. Yeah, no. It was It was like a week. We got the drama. It's like a week or two before, so that's one of yeah. those changes. But yeah, he said, I want Catherine to run the numbers. The history of programmers is a movie. And now... He has to go on the the urine walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, he's panting. Uh -huh. Look at him. <laughs> Half a mile away. I need you to verify these coordinates. did manage to calculate a few decimal points further than that hunk of metal. <laughs> I'll take every tissue you got. Sure thing for him. Gentlemen, let's launch this rocket. Good luck, friendship, Seven. Got speed like me. From Ohio, I know what happens. I just, I'm still nervous. I'm still nervous. <laughs> oh, that is just gotta punch out that reporter. Uh, yeah. Just a dude on the tip of a rock. That was Buzz, wasn't it? That was Buzz. You're right. Thank you for the information. You're quite welcome, Mrs. Bond. Respect on her name. <laughs> That's Supervisor Bond. <laughs> <laughs> we have a warning light. The heat shield may have come loose. There's a real fireball outside. It's getting a little hot in here. Fireball outside. Right? I can't even talk. <laughs> that would be worse for them. Friendship uh. 7, do you copy? Over. I'm clear, Capcom. Roger that. How are you John, you know that he waited extra long? <laughs> no, a little, wait a little bit. Oh, boy. Roger that. Again, we're from Ohio. I know. That was tense. <laughs> I love it. When everybody was looking up, they weren't looking at each other. They're all together. Yeah. Right? In that moment, they were all just Americans trying to beat the Russians. <laughs> you yeah. know? That's not yeah. That uh, Russians beat us. <laughs> no, yeah, sure. Get them. You took the stairs. We caught up. We get them in the end. We're, yeah. all, we're all humans. We all got the moon. We're already there, sir. Yay! <laughs> 
supervisor. <laughs> and they just have her back in there again too. Mm-hmm. You know? She got the medal from Obama. Mm -hmm. Hidden figures? Yeah, it's a NASA film. You know, going to space. There's lots of those. I had no idea it wasn't for. This one here, I Very think, happy. is interesting. It's based on true events and also is adapted from a book. Yeah. That was called like. Have you? Are you? Well, we with the just book? covered Katherine Johnson and Evie's homeschooling. Really? Yeah. Uh, hidden figures and the history of African American women who helped us win the space race or something like that is like the title of the book. Yep. I definitely recognize that final picture that was used. Of yeah. Catherine there. With yeah. Obama. Uh, no, the one. The, the very last one. The very last one. Um, with just a hint of the story, I did not know in the the full story or just the movie story. Yeah. Sure. No. <sighs> Man, there's a lot of things that are based on true events. There's things where like. Kevin Costner's like three characters or three people that's sure. kind of like brought into one. I know a lot of these movies that are based on true events, they oftentimes will combine characters mm -hmm. like the Chernobyl uh, yeah. thing. The Chernobyl they like combine with a lot of characters. The uh, the bathroom scene was like a real event, but it occurred to Mary, not to Catherine, and it kind of resulted in her ending up in the wind tunnel engineering group too. So okay. there's. Similarities of things, but also just kind of for drama reasons, they change stuff. So, yeah. but most of it's all fairly true, though. I think from I was trying to look up stuff of what's the differences and whatnot. Yeah, it so. seems yeah. pretty accurate from what I remember. You know, growing up in Ohio, you know, John Glenn is right up there with the Wright brothers in terms of like figures from our state that you really think about uh, historically. But we're also in Marietta, Ohio, and if we open the window, we can see West Virginia. Yeah, so yeah. I can feel a little bit of kinship there. Sure, yeah, with Catherine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean they moved. What was it, hundred and some miles away or whatever, mm -hmm. right? They're, I forget where they started. Yeah, I, mean, I might have wrote it down. But they had to go to <coughs> West Virginia University, or whatever, uh -huh. to yeah <laughs> get her into school early yeah. on. And yeah. Stuff. So I also like seeing like the IBM and the way like the, the trouble they have going through all that process. I don't know how accurate that is, or what. I'm sure they got them up eventually, but I don't know yeah. if that's exactly what happened, but. I find it funny to be like, we didn't measure this to see if they'd even fit. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a stupid thing that we would do. Right? <laughs> I was like, oh man, this looks amazing. This looks great. We just put this in this room. Yeah. We get it there. It's like, this is not going to fit, guys. <laughs> get the big hammer. <laughs> That's what he said. Get the big hammer. <laughs> uh, Fortran. Takes yeah. me back. You Did you ever learn or... Fortran? No. God, no. But, I mean, there, I've read books on it. Sure. Like, by the time you started programming, it was uh, a well-disused 
programming language, I yeah. would say. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, if, if you want to get into programming, you want to make big money, you learn those old languages that are still, like, around in places sometimes, mm-hmm. you know? Hmm. Like, because like, yeah. people just don't know. I wonder if, like, our, like, nuclear launch systems ever <laughs> use those because <laughs> it's, like, manual programming. They might still. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But with all the space scene stuff, too, of trying to get into space, uh, it's interesting seeing the the things that they had to go through to try to just get to where they were, you know? Yeah. Like Jim Parsons' character, uh, Paul, right? Mm-hmm. Like, whether it's because she's colored, because she's a woman, because he's threatened by her genius, <laughs> you know, whatever it is, he's, like, making sure she can't see stuff, he's always refusing everything, but I like that eventually by the end of it. He brings her the cup of coffee. He's okay. He doesn't complain about her name also being on that report mm-hmm. or whatever. Where yeah. it's like, she's helping create this math. You know, yeah. like we, no one has yeah. this stuff. It really I makes you. It, go ahead. I'm gonna say it. Just, it makes you think about what social structures do we have right now that we don't even think about that are limiting people. And sure. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's just the way things are. Like, like yeah. he didn't see that today. Like we can sit here in a lot of judgment because we, you know, like to think that we know better and everything. But like, you know, he didn't know that he was doing anything wrong. Sure. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, I would hope that if I was yeah. alive here, I would be different than what, yeah. like, the norm is. Yeah. yeah. But it's hard to tell, like, yeah. how exactly that stuff is and how people think. Like, Kristen hey. Dunst's character, right? Where she's yeah. like, you know, I don't have anything against you guys. And yeah. I'm like, I'm sure you believe that. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, and to clarify my statement, like, I'm sure that there are times where he's like, what we're doing is not right. But it's easy to to be like, well, that's the way it is. Yeah. Like, that's just an easy yeah. thing not my people fault. accept. Like, like, I know. can't get a man to the moon and yeah. do civil rights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. I just I, I just love those scenes of showing everybody looking up into the sky and no one's looking Everyone's at each other. Everyone's intermingled. Every other mm-hmm. time yeah. they see groups of people, they're completely separated by six feet, <laughs> yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. But there, everybody was intermingled. And, yeah, and they were all spots. watching the TV. They were yeah. looking into the the air, trying like they just they wanted to know about John Glenn if he made it back, you know. So yeah, in that moment, it didn't matter. Yeah. So now Russians I like that were too. looking down on us from their satellites. <laughs> I love that. I love I love the beginning. I, mean, I hate the cop, but I love that he's just like. <laughs> and then I, the women are like, "What the hell yeah. is he looking? At? Yeah. <laughs> like, What's he doing?" Yeah. <laughs> the movie was nominated for. Uh, Three Oscars, Best Picture, Best Supporting Actor, and Best Adapted Screenplay. Uh, Best Supporting Actor was for Octavia Spencer. For okay. Dorothy. Dorothy. <laughs> so. And then, yeah, Rick, we were talking about it, John Glenn. Uh, the things he says on the phone and stuff are, like, from NASA transcripts. Yeah. Like, he was like, get the smart girl, you yep. know? Like, he, he <laughs> said great. that. It just it wasn't during that exact time yeah. it wasn't like hours he wasn't standing in the gantry yeah. Yeah. yeah but he was like have her run these numbers i yeah. trust her you yep. know and I, I just love that it wasn't get the black girl yeah it yeah. wasn't it had nothing to do with that he's like get yeah. the girl get the, get get the, the smart, smart the smart girl get, have her run those numbers That's and cool. i like that he was there's that lineup of everybody mm-hmm. and then there's all the colored women over on the side but john glenn's like hey yeah what right? do you guys do oh yeah, numbers are important you know <laughs> like he, he came over and talked with them all yeah and, didn't have any issues with any of that. I I, I like that. Mm-hmm. I'm sure John Glitt had some thoughts that I don't agree with. But I don't want to see him in the movie. <laughs> I get what you mean. You know, sure. like I don't know what all was 100 percent true, what not. Sure. Yeah. Um, I know that he was like in his 40s or 40, something like that. Um, so he wasn't. I think the actor here is like in his 20s. He looked yeah. very young so, for what he would have been. Yeah. John Glenn was older than that. Yeah, I mean, he was a colonel. You don't you don't become a colonel when you're 20. <laughs> Not um, typically. I did see, too, like, the last line he has before he gets in the rocket apparently is the same thing Ed Harris says when he was getting into it when he played John Glenn in another movie. Apollo, um... I don't remember what it was. I don't know 13? what it was in. That's, no. Is that that's the movie? Tom Hanks, right? No, that's Tom Hanks. Okay. Apollo 11. Right. right? It would be uh, Apollo... I, yeah, I'm trying to think of no, the name of the movie, though. Apollo 11 was what was going to be the next thing, right? Hmm. Uh, let me see if I can find whatever it was that was talking about it. But I just thought it was, like, interesting. I don't know that John Glenn said that, but Ed Harris said that yeah. in another movie, playing John Glenn. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. There's The Right Stuff. The Right Stuff. That's what it is. Is that what it is? It's the Right yeah, Stuff, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. Every time I see video of the rockets going up, I, I have such a hard time. Like, I always separate, like, where are the people? Where are they at? You know, like obviously they're at the tip, at the know? top. They're yeah. at the very. Every tip. time I look at it, it's I always have to like 
I had to like do an X-ray in my head to be like, they're there, you know, because it's just so, especially having watched it when I was a kid and everything, like it's just so foreign. I have no idea, no frame of reference of yeah. where everything is, but it's just Stephen Beistes, a bunch of fuel, amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it really lets you like visualize things internally. And Stephen really. Beistes. Stephen Beistes visual. Um, it's like a book kind of thing. They're like visual blueprint things where like, you know, it's like a, a British man of war from like the 1700s he just cuts the ship in half yeah. and draws like all the little details and shit we got all the Star Wars ones but yeah. the real ones too <laughs> yeah there are there are real ones gotcha okay so, cross sections yeah. cross sections that's what yes. they're thank you the, the one scene I said about I'd already seen uh, before I watched the movie uh, was the talking about the bathroom scene and all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. yeah I, I just really liked it like the scene felt so emotional and powerful mm-hmm. that I was like I want to watch this movie like it had been on my back burner for a while I'm like I should watch it sometime and Melanie was like we should, yeah we should watch it yeah. But then, like, her and I had both seen that separately. And we're like, hey, you want to watch it? She's like, oh, yeah, I saw that scene. I'm like, okay. And then completely flew That's under cool. my radar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I've, I've seen a couple scenes from this, and I've, <laughs> I've held myself away from watching it because just the early space program and everything has always been a huge interest of mine. But um, I figured that we would eventually do a reaction to this. Hmm. Just because of the cast. <laughs> oh yeah, the cast is just it's it, immense. As it keeps going, like I know that person, I know that person, I know that person. <laughs> like as I got into it, I'm like, dang, I know yeah. so many people in this. This might be the first time in a while that I'm gonna go actively go search out the soundtrack. Sure, the soundtrack's really good. All the music was really the soundtrack. good. Yeah. Ron Zimmer worked on it. Damn. Apparently, I also read a thing like the people that worked on it and like music wise, mm-hmm. um, they they worked hard to make sure that it had 50 percent like African American oh, yeah. music artists mm-hmm. to keep it like a 50 50 mm-hmm. on it. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that is really cool. Also, the director uh, Theodore Melfi was in the runnings. He was uh, to possibly direct Homecoming, Spider Man Homecoming, oh. but he dropped out of that to direct this. Nice. I was like, good for him. Yeah, he didn't yeah. want to go with like, it's you know, decision. that's like a big movie kind of thing. Yeah. Sure. He's like, you know what? I that's want to a, work on this. That's this a big a... movie. This is a big story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I thought that was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. That is cool. And then uh, Catherine passed away. I saw it in 2020. She was 101 years old. It's a big life. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I watched a video this week that kind of affected me. It's on uh, <laughs> one of our channels, Roll with the Bunches. It was Rick's video about. Uh, weighted clothing in Dragon Ball, hmm. and I got oh uh, maybe that's just well he was talking about Dragon Ball. But <laughs> I brought that up randomly earlier. I didn't realize we he had, talked about one that. of the segments is weighted clothing, and I just it's just been in the forefront of my mind just watching this the entire time. You know, like just they have to wear such heavy weighted clothing to do the same stuff. Sure, know? yeah. Well, it, with what we were talking about earlier, it kind of gives the idea whether today or back then, like how many brilliant people or you know whether they're engineers, scientists, whatever, didn't make it to where yeah. they could have, where it could have progressed even more. What kind of advancements then? could society yeah. have if because we hadn't that's not kept what it down is. a significant part yeah. of the population? Because Just the yeah. way it is. Have yeah. you know? Like 50% ones. women for the longest time. Yeah. Whether it was women or based on skin color or whatever the case is. Like, mm-hmm. there's, there's just been, like, so many people where, like, this was, like, you know, Catherine was, like, an anomaly. This is a brilliant child. We, we, this whole school helped chip in yeah. <laughs> to yeah. get yeah. you in there, you know. Yeah. But I mean, no, the other like, women have the ability to go get educated and, sure. and attempt it. It's it's sad that you have to have an anomaly to be able to. What was the right? What was it? Uh, yeah, upper movement is movement for all of us. Yeah, right? like yeah. that that community could put all their eggs in one basket. Mm-hmm. Sure, yeah. yeah. Like they couldn't push all the girls. It's, it's yeah. a spearhead. Yeah, you got to get the first one in, and then you start trickling. That's like Mary, right? I love I love her her argument to that judge is not really based on any kind of like here's Legality why you should legally or, or anything. Yeah. It's like you know, people always remember the first. That's what we were talking about, right? Where yep. It's like you remember the first, you don't remember the, the <laughs> tenth guy or anything. Yeah, you remember yeah. Shepard, Glenn, yeah. Armstrong. Yeah, you remember those. You remember like ah, we sent ten guys. To the, who was the tenth guy on the moon? Like, oh, no. <laughs> so like. Her, her we should thing. know the tenth guy on the moon. <laughs> I, I get what you mean, but sure. we should know. There are so few that have been. I know. We need to know. That. I, I'm dumb. I need to go and research. Sure. And they're saying things here like, you know, we gotta touch the stars and, you know, touch the planets. And it's like, man, we've only still only made it to the moon. Right. We got like to the all moon, this time. Like stop. Yeah. <laughs> Slow down so much. Yeah, right. Just need Elon to just drop all the craziness that he's doing down here. Screw Direct it, it up. You just know. give Screw up on Twitter. Screw Twitter. Yeah. Right? Who cares? <laughs> just, Do something for just, just that manic energy. Just direct it for progress <laughs> for us. I think I've talked to Eric about it before. 
but there was an interview with Neil deGrasse Tyson, uh -huh. and it might have been on like Joe Rogan or something like that. But sure. I like watching Neil deGrasse Tyson, so I'll listen to him. And he was talking about like the reason why we haven't striven so hard to go out to other planets is because we're still fighting about what we own on Earth, mm -hmm. <laughs> and the very like the reason why civilizations should not go out and colonize are the very reasons why they will never be able to mm -hmm. is because if we get out there then we're just going to be fighting over Those that stuff. amongst yeah. ourselves it's like stance, right? rather than pushing out towards you know new boundaries and stuff we're just going to be fighting amongst the boundaries that we've already sure. set for ourselves now that group they own mars because yeah. they're on there it's like yeah but we helped you get there like, i don't matter well yeah, yeah. it's like in star trek the you know the reason they're doing that is all of earth is united yeah right exactly yeah but how do you get to that point you know, it's a that's the fantasy of the of yeah. the sci-fi, right? That's, so like that's the, the science of the, fi of the or the fiction of the science. <laughs> so the the very society that is is striving towards that is most likely never going to achieve it, right? Not peacefully. No. Yeah. The only Probably. way you get there, and it's it's very unlikely, is that you have like a country or a group where like they agree and they're doing it. But then they're still still like they're, they might be arguing and fighting with other people, and then they own that one. Whoever else does it, right? Yeah. Like. The U.S. owns the moon, not Russia. <laughs> kind yeah, of thing. unless aliens. Aliens, dude. If aliens come, we would unite <laughs> to get to space. We oh, would. It would be Independence Day. Yeah, right. right? Guys, we need to build this stuff and protect. Put a laser on the moon. You yeah. know, to like, protect ourselves from aliens. I, I figure that or that's so, like yeah, going to so be tribal. the the big red button solution to World War Three. Is like everybody's up in arms. Everybody wants to fight, and then like. A couple countries or, or NATO or whoever just drops a big yes. stack of papers on somebody's desk. <laughs> there are aliens. We need to stop fighting. <laughs> you get the squid. Sure. All right. Yeah. All the, uh, the UFOs that we've been shooting down, which has been like, what, four in the last couple of weeks? Something like that. They all end with, and we couldn't find it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we shot it down. I don't, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Fucking it's gone. <laughs> okay, come on. It's not like Bill Burr. <laughs> it's just gone. <laughs> been interesting how much more that's been happening lately. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the idea being that uh, NORAD had some type of filtering in terms of uh, what we were tracking, what we weren't. But once the Chinese balloon came over, we removed a lot of the filters, and then we started finding a lot more stuff. Oh, shit, what's yeah. that? Oh, shit, what's yeah. that? Yeah, we're finding. So are they more in the last two years, I mean, are these spaceships? I mean, UFO. We just right? we don't know. We don't know. Well, that's what the balloon was. Yeah. There's right? no oh, identifying uh, markings. Well, I mean, it's, it's, we figured out pretty quick that it was. It's way more city. likely that it's just technology that humans have created that we don't. The public right. doesn't understand because I mean, it's just it's so far to get from another planet <laughs> to here, you know, or interdimensional or whatever, whatever you want to say. But it's more likely that it's just something that someone else has that we don't know about. But yeah, they were talking about like, you know, no means of propulsion, certain shapes, octagons and pill form or whatever it's called. And then the Navy and the Air Force have released a couple videos the last couple years too. I know last year, I think it was, they yeah. had a video where it's just like a guy been like, he's just sure. flying. It's like, what's that? It's like, no one knows. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know, like, a, that's like all they really had. There wasn't much information there. It was like, we saw some shit. It, we sure. don't know what it was. <laughs> yeah, like a shitty cockpit video is not like radar telemetry. No, it's not great. Like that. No. But, like, all right. They're not giving that stuff. You up. hear like the talking and stuff, sure. and like you see a little bit of random video, and it's like, and it's a video from like the 1980s, <laughs> from when the jet was built. <laughs> yeah, I don't know right when it was from, but yeah, it was, it was a little older. Not not the video itself, but the camera, I should say. Sure, okay, I see. Yeah, Catherine, you know, lived through a time when computers were people. Yeah. yeah. Up right? until 2020, up until right? Yeah. Like, I need a computer. Like, yeah. Get get one here now. Yeah, that was just, a job. Someone just walks in. Like, I'm the computer. Yep. And then you had this IBM. The, they were on the precipice. <clears throat> yeah. What was the IBM? Like, 25,000 multiplications per second? Yeah. It was like, jeez. Yeah. But still a good lesson that, uh, it was Dorothy, right, that became the supervisor? Dorothy was the one pushing for supervisor. Where, when you see that, like, hey, technology's changing and jobs are going to be switching, like, just because we're on the precipice of new AI technology doesn't mean that we don't need people that can still work that you sure know? like just we're just gonna have different types of jobs now so yep. yeah well and like you need people to check it right because yeah. they ran ibm stuff there for john glenn and they're oh, like yeah. hey this is wrong was it wrong yesterday or wrong today like someone should be checking that 
regardless of it being faster. Okay, we got the we got the stuff sure. down. You well, can still check it. You right? can still program a computer wrong. Yeah. So you need to make sure that that's right, and you need people to operate. But also, and program it. when you have new theories, when you have new information, like that only comes from human potential. Sure. Right? Yeah. When it comes to our knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not likely to have our computer. technology can only get up to our potential. It can't discover anything new. Yeah. So you're not likely to have a computer just create. A I new mean. Yeah, in fixed systems it can. Like, you can play chess better than any human ever Oh, can. no, I, I definitely understand that. I should say that, like, <clears throat> well, yeah, it's potential, though, right? Like, a human could potentially do these certain chess games, but only this thing can look at all of them and learn, right? But it still needs to learn. So it still needs progression. It still needs people to push and come It needs a starting ideas. point. Yeah, sure. It needs updates. Like it, right? it raises the common denominator for everybody, but the potential still needs to be those mavericks that go out and push yeah. too far, you know? Yeah, in, in chess and stuff like that, there is like hundreds of trillions of combinations of moves or however many there is, mm -hmm. but it's still a finite number. Yeah. So we just can't memorize all those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Go is the really crazy one. Yeah. Like chess, you know, it starts as, as a complicated fixed. as it's going to get because yeah. you have all the pieces and like as you start to lose things, yeah. it starts to get easier. But Go is the opposite where it gets more complex as it goes on. They did that one too. Yeah, I had a, I had a thought in this movie that I don't think I've ever thought. I think it's dumb, but when I saw like they went to the cafeteria, it said colored only, mm -hmm. and when Mary Jane walked in, I was like, "What are you doing? It's you know, colored only. It's colored only." <laughs> yeah, I, I had like the it's same not thing. like colored ki like kitchen like whites welcome. <laughs> you know, it's not like that. But when it says whites only, like they can't go in there, so colored only. You know, I know that that's not how it is. I know that's not how uh, suppression and and you segregation know, segregation and hurting an entire race of people goes. So I just in my head I thought like, what are you doing? Yeah, I, in my playground school yeah. child yes. thinking, like, I was like, that's not fair. If these are the rules you're making, I'll play them. Yeah, get out. You know? <laughs> exactly. Uh, I do like uh, Kevin Costner's things like at NASA we all pee the same color. Yeah, like and he's good. just like I don't care. This don't, is oh, this is you know? bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, and it's affecting. And he's Sloan like, I down. need this woman to get these numbers done. Yeah. And if she has to spend forty minutes to go to the bathroom, I don't care. I don't want that. Yeah. You go to the bathroom where you need to. I like he peels off the colored like yeah. coffee pot thing. He looks at everybody. Yeah. Right. Everyone is appropriately ashamed. This movie does have a lot of correct historical details, but no one smoking is ridiculous. Him, <laughs> him chewing gum was the thing that was He's most to quit. similar. I know <laughs> that was the replacement. Was the right? most similar to smoking nonstop. Hey, I get you don't want to like push that, to, uh, you know, kids sure. now or whatever. But yeah, it, it just it's, it's, it seems so strange. Yeah, the yeah. effect of nicotine was <laughs> felt but not seen. <laughs> Rick sees that and is like this is ridiculous. <laughs> no, I get you. There's uh, a lot of footage and pictures, you know, from that yeah. time and everything that I've seen. It's like, yeah. Yeah. That's why all the pictures are blurry. Yeah. <laughs> it's not because we had shitty cameras. There's too much smoke. <laughs> I'm imagining an alternate cut where instead of the chalk, he hands her like a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of that too. Yeah, listen to like uh, Kennedy's speeches and yeah, he didn't write them. Like he had a speech writer. Oh, yeah, sure. But it's like, where are those now? Yeah. The, uh... The coffee thing, the thing I brought it up in the thing, but the chock full of nuts. Uh, yeah. The use of this brand in the context of segregation is in, is historically relevant. In 1957, Chock Full of Nuts was one of the first major New York corporations to hire a black executive as a corporate vice president. The man they hired, retired baseball legend Jackie Robinson, huh. Jackie had Robinson. made history by being the first person to break the color barrier in professional baseball. Yeah. So. I did not know the coffee it, thing. It makes yeah. more sense why there was a nod to Chock Full of Nuts in <laughs> Luke Cage as well. Oh. In the swear jar. That was a swear jar. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Interesting. Mm. We got one of those around. We do. Actually, I think we have two. And then they also, you know, mention uh, Martin Luther King. They also talk about the, the, the sit-in going down in North Carolina and stuff, mm -hmm. too. So, like, things are happening around during this time while they're... Well, yeah, the, to to the incineration and, bombings. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the stuff on the... And it, it's an interesting discussion, too, between... It was Mary and her husband, right? Where it's like, turn this off. Kids shouldn't be seeing this. And he's like, the kids need to see this, you know? And it's like, like this isn't right. This isn't how people should be kind of thing. And it's like... Yeah. I understand both aspects of that, right? Like, it's dangerous and terrible, but also, like, 
there's an understanding of like this is what it's like and it needs to be yeah. changed you know that's why people are fighting for it yeah I really love all the work that's being done to restore old footage like fixing the speed changing the like the clarity making people you know that footage that we see back in the day like making them just feel a little more real because mm-hmm. when you watch it with that like, I don't know. There's something like... There's a separation. There's a sep- level of separation when you're watching the old versus when you watch, like, you know, uh, Peter Jackson did that movie uh, about World War One or Two. Uh, you're talking one. about Red Tails? No, that's... Uh, that's George, George Lucas. Lucas. Peter Jackson did... I can't remember what it's called, but he that's what he... Like, that's the whole movie. They just restored footage, and then a lot of people are doing it uh, in the amateur communities now, too. But there's just something about it that just makes... You just you can empathize more. I don't know, but I just the people just feel. Oh no, those are just people, and we've been the same as we have been for two hundred thousand yeah. years. <laughs> you know. Yeah, you see people from like nineteen hundred on yeah. the streets having a snowball fight. Yeah, yeah. And it's like yeah, that's now that it's corrected mm-hmm. to modern frame rates and everything. That looks like it could be shot today. It other does. than what they're wearing, it really does. Is it they shall not grow old? They shall not grow old. That's exactly what it is. Really cool, and then yeah, like I said, they've been you know amateurs are starting to do it now with machine learning and AI and being able to to generate these images. It just makes it feel just I don't know more significant, more sure. like oh no, that's just a person and They're, they did what I could do and I could do what they can do. Makes yeah. sense. Less superior on one side. Yeah, <laughs> sure. There's moments in this where, like, there's certain footage and stuff, and I'm like, are they just doctoring what they have to make it look older, sure. or are they taking real footage and stuff and putting it in there? I think they're going both. I think yeah. there's, yeah, there's a mixture, I think, of it. You know, there's one shot where it's like, here's a CGI rocket that we're going up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's another shot where I'm like, is that, like, the real shot of the rocket they had launching, or is yeah, this, like, it, you know, what, what elements here are they mixing together? Some of it looked like um, later missions, but they just, like, changed the... Like the background and stuff like that to make it match up. And yeah. Stuff. Well, there's one shot too that I wasn't sure. It looked like I think it was footage with JFK, but they had changed the one guy's head to look like someone oh, else. Yeah. I think. Yeah, they forced Gump to. Right. They did force Gump. Where it's like that looks like JFK, and that looks like the actor who just came back from space. You know. And I was like, mm-hmm. oh, that's a cool way of kind of just doing that. Mm-hmm. But then there's another shot, and I was like. I think that's JFK, right? It's not an actor, JFK. I'm pretty sure that's JFK. <laughs> but I'm like, if they did, they've been back and forth. I've been tricked. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Man, mm-hmm. I remember when Forrest Gump came out and they had Tom Hanks like making the rounds on late night, and they were marveling about how picture perfect it, those those look. You watch them now, and you're like, okay, I, I can, can see, see the it. seams, you know, but... because we're so significant or we're so advanced in our own way of how these things are done, but. Back in the day, that was like, oh my god, man. Sure, right? How did they get someone who yeah, looked exactly, exactly like JFK? Like I the, gotta pee. It's like <laughs> the era of like PlayStation 1 where it's like, man, these graphics are so good. We've right? so far. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. You know? And now it's like, oh man, things have smoothed so much more. Things don't have to be jagged edges and stuff, you know? Like you go back now, like, yeah, this looks... My kids are like, this looks old. Yeah. If you go back far enough, it's got the 2D thing and people yeah. don't notice it. Oh, you know? man, there was a moment during Rick's Ocarina of Time run where he's like, look at the town back there. It's just a... Bad picture. Look how and he said it like with a lot of care. Like it's beautiful. And I remember being like, I've, I've never seen it look that bad. Something's <laughs> changed. <laughs> when I was a kid, I just accepted it. You know, yeah. that's just no. That's the town. That's it. Yeah. There's no, there's no picture down there. PlayStation One in sixty four era and stuff were just yeah. like they mm-hmm. they were great then. Yeah. But now it's like those ones definitely feel more dated because of where we've gone since yeah. then. You know. I, I really love the moment where it's like, hey, you know that I have nothing against y'all, and she goes. I think that you believe that, or what she said. I, I know. I'm, sh- I'm I know sure you, you believe. I know that. you believe that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that moment because it really makes me stop and think. Like, yeah, because you know, no one likes to think. Oh no, I'm racist. <laughs> you know. Sure. Um, but well, we all got. Something. To be fair, there are some. There are some idiots. <laughs> yeah. Um, but even the you know a person that you know considers himself you know progressive, like you still have moments. Where you catch yourself thinking about something, it's like, where'd that come from? Because that's not me, but it's in me somewhere. And uh, I just think it was a really cool moment to, you know, to point out when someone was being like, "Hey, I'm happy for you." To still point out, like, you, you still got some work to do. Sure, we're not mm-hmm. ever done, you know. Like yeah. every time I, I try to finish something in my house, something else pops up, you know. Yeah. It's the same thing <laughs> with this stuff. 
I there's always like they, work to be done. They try to push a little bit of like there is some growth here from yeah. characters with like Jim Parsons' character doing like here's the coffee. I'm not going to complain about yeah. your name being here. You have Kirsten Dunst's character being like mm-hmm. Mrs. Vaughn, you know, and it feels like she's trying to give a little bit of respect back with what she's yeah. done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? like it's never fixed, but it needs to be better than yesterday. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's just like let's make it better than yesterday, mm-hmm. and don't make the past just necessarily like that's what the answer is. No, it doesn't have to always be this way. Mm-hmm. What can be better? And yeah. you know, I, I love Kevin Costner's character when he's talking to um, Paul, right, Jim Parsons, and he's like, "You know, your job here is to find the genius among the geniuses mm-hmm. and it's, elevate them. Yeah, and then, like, bring them up with us, right? We, if one of us, is, you know, we also it was kind of the same idea of like upper movement. Bring, yeah, movement first all of us yeah. are moving forward. You yeah. know, that's the idea. But <laughs> science, yeah, all is of America, the same is, kind of ordeal, right? Yeah, we all come together and beat the Russians. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that one scientist. I felt you're American. <laughs> that one scientist having that breakthrough helps him. Yeah. So it's just like that idea. Like he kept pushing back against her ever since she got brought in. Like, yeah. you don't need to check my math. That's dummy work. I'm redacting all this stuff. I do like the redacted part where it's like, I think we need darker ink. Are you a spy? Yeah. No, I'm not Russian. She's not Russian. Yeah, <laughs> I like, yeah. I like the, the one it's true, sir. <laughs> yeah, she's not Russian. I like Ruth, just like reiterating it. Like, it's true, she's not Russian. And we're joking about the Russians, but Russians are fine. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a it's good so point to make because there's uh, there's there's things out there that want you to hate the yeah. other. You know, sure. And that's not the goal. That shouldn't be the there's goal. There's governments and there's people. Yeah, we'll be hypocrites. Are just people. We'd be hypocrites to point it all out in this everything that's happened in this movie and not be like, isn't that exactly what you guys are doing every time? <laughs> no. no. Progress better than yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get you. Tomorrow I won't say fuck uh, the Russians. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, you know, being a generation removed from that, it's crazy how serious that all was. Mm-hmm. Of, like, yeah. getting to space. Yeah, it seems so... <sighs> kind of envious. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Like, I, obviously, no one is like, good, I'm glad this happened, but the weeks after 9-11, you never felt more American. Like, everybody, together, was like, oh, man, you know? Like, I, yeah. I kind of missed that feeling, even though it was capitalized on and used to go places that we shouldn't have. Like, I still remember that feeling. Sure. Yeah. And there were was, there was some Americans that weren't treated as Oh, no, equal. Yeah, I, I definitely understand. So. I give it to the pipe dream, sure, but the idea just is that feeling of being in part of the space race must have been so well, and I also exhilarating. Wonder if, if we had the space, like, say we were racing to get to Mars or something yeah. like that, right? Like, I don't know that it would feel the same as it did in this kind of scenario. You well, know? because sure. going to the moon and, you know, touching it first, like, yeah, I think that's great, but Mars has the potential, because it's so far away, has the potential to be like, oh, no, we can do something new. Like, maybe there can be the first Martian born. Like, I think it will be something else, you know? Mm-hmm. It'll be, like, the first sentient AI. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Or, or something like that yeah. instead of space. Yeah, I mean, Mars... Then we might... send them to space. Yeah. I think Mars is doable in our lifetime, but certainly not anything outside of our solar system, even. <clears throat> I mean, Voyager still hasn't made it that far. No. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I get you. I mean, yeah, it'd have to be a discovery we can't imagine yeah. today, mm-hmm. right? We, we make sentient AI... We send them to space. They colonize Mars. And then they'll come back and kill us, though. So that's not a good idea. Never mind. We need a better idea. Assimilate. We send them far enough away, they won't have to worry about us. You imagine we just send them out there, they're out there, they, they solve all kinds of shit, time travel and everything, they come back, kill us. Well, yeah, like... Start Terminator. <laughs> yeah, they'd be so yeah. far beyond us. Like, yeah. why go back to the Petri dish? Yeah, it's exactly. Crazy. You know? This as long as our computers beat their computers at chess, I'm good. That's all you need? That's all I need. <laughs> do, do giants concern themselves with the lives of ants? Yeah. If they're buried up to their necks. Some people have ant farms, so yes. I what? felt like my answer was significant, but I pulled it out of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I just figured you'd watch Scorpion King. I have. I, have. <laughs> I love the question with his chin. Giant chin. Fun movie. Uh, fantastic movie, actually. No, and again, I'm going to go check out that soundtrack after this. Yes. <laughs> Soundtrack's really good. So, yeah. so check out the book. Yeah. And more, more of this history. Yeah. Indeed. Always more history. Always history to learn from as well. Aaron, say something significant, too. Uh, history, we're doomed to repeat it. 
Did that ever significant? He's, he's good. He, he did. Did. He did. He did. Guys, thank you very much for watching this movie with us. If uh, this is a movie that you like, let us know down in the comments what other types of movies would you like us to cover. And go over to patreon.com slash blindwave where not only you can check out the next four movie reactions right now, but you can help us pick every other week's movie reaction as a poll writer. Be better than yesterday. Mm-hmm.